assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel i am asif math corner today we will discuss about the normalizer and centralizer of a group in group theory let's start first normalizer what is normalizer let x be an arbitrary subset of group g we take a subset of g x contains some elements of g the set of those elements of g which permute with x and uh, take elements of uh, g and permute them with x with this arbitrary subset those elements make also a set which permute with x and that set is called normalizer of x in g normalizer of x in g it is denoted as n g x this mean that normalizer of x in g the mathematical form is normalizer of x in g is equal to a belongs to g we take elements from g a belongs to g and permute them with complete with with the subgroup uh, subset x if they permute if the left hand side right hand side same then they permute and the elements which permute are called normalizer of g in abelian groups almost all the elements permute so now centralizer what is centralizer a centralizer a centralizer is a subset of x similarly as normalizer in g the set of those elements similarly as normalizers of g which are permute able similar till here here is the difference here permute with x and in centralizer we permute able with every element of x with every element of x we take the element of g and permute it with all the elements of x if that element permute then that is called centralizer and it is denoted by this centralizer of x in g that is the mathematical form is centralizer of x in uh, in g a belongs to g and here you can feel the difference here is x subset complete and here x is the element of subset for all small x belongs to capital x this capital x is subset but this small x is the element of subset i hope you can now differentiate between normalizer and centralizer the centralizer of a whole group g is called the center of g those elements which which are which make the centralizer are also called center of g now we will discuss a theorem related to normalizer and a theorem related to centralizer let's start a theorem related to normalizer a theorem the normalizer x in g of a subset x of a group g is the subgroup of g this mean that the elements those make the normalizer normalizer of x in g are also subgroup of g let's prove it for example we take two elements a and b belongs to normalizer of x in g mean they permute with x a, a permute with x ax is equal to xa b permute with x bx is equal to xb for the subgroup we need at least four five properties one is closure law and we know that elements uh, the closure law hold because these are elements of g 
so here commutative law hold and uh, associative law and general hold we need uh, the inverses and if we find the inverses then we prove easily that it is a subgroup of g let come next now as we know by the definition bx is equal to xb similarly g is a group that's why every b has its inverse as well multiply b inverse left side and right side of bx and multiply b inverse on left side and right side with xb by using associative law as associative law hold in general so here we can easily prove that when we shift this x here and b here then b into b inverse identity element then comes b inverse x similarly when we change the order of x and b inverse then we get uh, b inverse this b inverse b inverse it gives the identity element and this is equal to b inverse x so we find the same uh, form which we required that inverses are also permutable so it means that this b inverse also belongs to normalizer of x so we take both element in product form b a and b inverse for completing our proof so a b inverse is equal to a change the or brackets as associative law holds a into b inverse x so change x and b inverse we find a x b inverse and by changing brackets a x into b inverse now again exchange the position of x and a we find x into a b inverse so it is also permutable we see the form that a b inverse into x was on left side and we prove that it can be on right side so here we prove that a b inverse also belong to normalizer of group uh, normalizer of x in g so it's proved that normalizer of x in g is a subgroup now we discuss a theorem related to centralizer which is same nothing is different except the here is the x complete but in centralizer there is element of this subset let's start you know related to centralizer the centralizer of subset x in g is a subgroup of g now we have to prove that the centralizer the elements which permutes with the elements of subset x of g make a set which is a subgroup we are going to prove let's start let a comma b belongs to centralizer of x in g by definition a permute with the element of x subset x and with a x is equal to x a and similarly b x is equal to x b now as in the previous theorem we learn that multiply as inverses uh, g is a group so b inverse also belong to g so multiply b inverse left hand side a uh, left side and right side of bx and left side and right side of xb we find the same results as in previous theorem we read the b inverse x is equal to xb inverse it's mean that inverses are also permutable so these are also belongs to centralizer so b inverse belongs to centralizer of x in g hence hence now similarly as in previous theorem we read b ab inverse into x 
is equal to now change the brackets a into b inverse x now change the order of x and b as associative law holds in general now again change the brackets a x into b inverse now again x come outside and b a b inverse this a b inverse with x and x with b a b inverse tells us that these are also permutable so it's mean that a b inverse also belongs to centralizer of x and proved that centralizer of x the elements of g which permutable with all the elements of x make a subset and we prove that subset is a subgroup i hope you understood thank you so much